Welcome to Rockwall, Texas. I'm Betty LeMay and I'm with the Living in Dallas, Texas team. And today I am so excited for you to check out this grand home. It's the Grand White Hall floor plan. It's extremely versatile and it has something special for everybody in the family. Come check it out. This particular model features five bedrooms, four bathrooms. It has all the options that are available, 3,900 square feet, lifestyle room, children's retreat, media room, game room, and study, and has a mother-in-law suite. The base price for this one starts at 1.2 million and goes up to 1.3 million depending on options. Come on in. I'm so excited to show you this home. It's pretty spectacular. So first, let me give you a little bit of the base information for the home. It starts off as three bedrooms, three baths, around 2,300 square feet. But what we're gonna see today is actually 3,900 square feet. It has five bedrooms, four baths, and all the extras, media, study, game room, flex space. I mean, it's amazing. So we're gonna start off our tour right over here in our home office study living area. But before I show you all the details here, your eye immediately goes to this spot. Check this out. This is pretty awesome. So this normally comes standard as just, really it's just under stairs. Uh, it's just a normally just drywall, um, but you have an option to make it this kind of wine fridge area. Um, or you can also make it a half bath. So there's plenty of options that the builder does offer when you're constructing this home from scratch. Now this home office is really beautiful. It has a really nice feel to it where you definitely wanna get some work done. But if you look at the top, one of the things that the builder is known for is their attention to detail. So it has these wood planks that run all the way the length of, of the room, which is really cool, a really nice touch. And then of course, we're gonna check out, you're gonna see it throughout the whole house, beautiful light fixtures. Again, attention to detail. It just kind of adds a little, a little oomph to every room, let's say. Um, if you look over to this side, this is normally where your garage entrance will be as you park your car and come into the home. And then also the laundry area would be right here. But because this is a model, it's kind of set up a little bit differently. Now, the room that we're in right now, this one again has some flexible options to it. They've decided to make it a media room, but you could make it a third bedroom on the first floor. So that's pretty awesome too. A lot of times families might want for their little kids, they might want them on the first floor. And so that gives you an option to do that. Or if you want your media room on the first floor, you can do that too. So check this out. Plenty of room for everybody. Great seating, great amount of space. Uh, one of the things that is really cool when you make it a media room is utilizing a dark, a dark color on the wall, which has it, you know, a little bit more of a theater, theater feeling. So that's really cool. Um, and then we're going to go over, over to this side. I want to point out the doors that they have added, which is really cool. If you want to close off the space, you can slide. You have one here, and then you also have one here. So that's a really cool thing that they have added to this space. So as we transition over into the main living space, I mean, get ready for the light. Seriously, it just, this entire room is flooded with beautiful windows, all this light that comes in here. And it's really all mainly natural lighting. But before we check out the living room and the kitchen, which are amazing, we're gonna head over into this space, which you'll be able to see this other bedroom that's on the first floor. And this is another really cool option. The bedroom will be here, but the space that you see as we transition in where the double doors are, that one you can either make a third car garage or they have decided to make it a mother-in-law suite. So here you have a bedroom and you have kind of an apartment setup um, for whether it be an out-of-town guest or maybe it's a college student that kind of wants their own apartment, you know, uh, home away from home, even though it's attached to the home. But you have space here to give a little bit more privacy for a family member or a guest, and it's really awesome. This right here is an option to have double doors that leads you directly to the backyard. And there are so many windows in here that it's just so bright and airy. And again, attention to details. As you look up, 
you have this beautiful vaulted ceiling and really, really beautiful light fixtures. So I really appreciate, you know, when you have a space that feels warm and cozy and super inviting, that's what you feel when you're in this space. So let's take a walk through and that way I can show you the bathroom that is attached to this room. It's kind of, uh, it's not necessarily attached, but it's like right here around the corner. And this is the downstairs bathroom for this room, but also for kind of community space if necessary. So here you have this really cool floating shelf and you have this really awesome pattern. It's like a geometric kind of a pattern, but you're gonna see this throughout the house where they added these accents in and it's super cool. This follows all the way along the back wall here and you have a super cool shower head. So very, very awesome space. And now let me show you this incredible living room. Come on in, take a look at this amazing view. So not only do you have this really beautiful, spacious living room, I, and I, I love my favorite feature in this room, I love that they inset the fireplace and it's flush to the entire wall. So you have this super cool pattern tile and at the same time, normally you have a fireplace that might kind of bulge out and have like a mantle, but not in this space. Here it's nice and seamless against the wall and it's just really, really pretty um, and has a, a, just a great little kind of feel and look overall in the space. Okay, now we're gonna head over to this awesome gourmet kitchen that you're gonna love. Um, whoever is the cook in the family is gonna really appreciate this space. So not only do you have this incredible, you have great countertops, quartz countertops, this incredible oversized island that is amazing. You have this stainless steel farm sink, and then you have even more counter space, more cabinet space, but this range right here, you have very high-end appliances, six burner cooktop. I mean, this is pretty awesome. Who wouldn't want to spend time in this room? Very cool. Let me know if you love this space too. And as we come right on over here into the dining room, you're gonna see there are windows all the way around this space. And it does give it a really inviting, bright, airy feeling. And almost kind of feels like you're having a outdoor patio dining, but you're inside the house. So that's really cool as well. Now, before we check out this incredible backyard that you're gonna love, we're gonna head upstairs and check out the space where all the fun is gonna happen. So let's head on upstairs. Okay, so as we transition up to the second story, first let's stop here for a moment. Check out this iron and wood custom rail. Super cool. And you have, normally you see, uh, sometimes you see carpeted stairs, but here you have wood all the way down, which is a really, really nice sleek touch. So that's awesome. Okay, so up here, the very first place that you'll see is your game room. So of course, you have your pool table, you have TVs, you have some room for everybody to have fun and entertainment. So now we're gonna transition into the first bedroom of the second floor, and you're gonna feel in here, it has a calm, really inviting, serene kind of a vibe in this space. It's pretty cool. So you're gonna notice this really pretty sage green paint color, which kind of adds to the vibe. And up here, number one, you have really high ceilings, which is awesome. And you have a, a window that's up here, almost kind of looks like a skylight, but it lets in some really nice natural light from that space. And we're gonna transition over into a space that everybody in the family is sure to love. But before we do that, this is the first full bathroom in the second, in the second floor. And you're gonna notice it's really pretty neutral, white and taupe colors with some really, really pretty taupe tile work in the uh, bathtub and shower area. It's just really, really pretty and neutral. That's what, that's what I can say, and it's nice clean lines. So this space, let's, let's talk about this space. Super cool. All the kids are gonna wanna hang out in here. Super fun. This is where block parties are gonna be had. Seriously, this is what they call the children's retreat. And first of all, the nice high ceilings, fun for everybody. You can make this, Levi would make this a YouTube room, I'm sure, but you can make this a gaming space. You can have all sorts of fun activities here, Boy Scout meetings, Girl Scout meetings, PTA meetings, whatever, whatever you'd like to do in this space, but it is 
really awesome, really spacious, and gives the kids their own little retreat area. So I think that's really, really cool. Okay, let's take a look at the other bedrooms on the second floor. We're gonna walk across here. Also notice, I'm gonna point out, um, it is really rare, but really awesome to have hardwood floors on the second floor. That's really cool. So as we walk across the landing here, we're gonna head over into, this is a second bedroom um, in this, on the second floor, and you're gonna notice lots of light in here, extra windows, and a lot of elbow room. This has a nice high ceilings. It has a great walk-in closet for storage. Um, this is really, really great space. And again, I'm loving the paint choices. It's a nice kind of a pale blue color on the walls, which makes everything feel really kind of soothing and calm in the space. You'll notice here that this gives you entry directly into the bathroom, and then you have a door right here. It's a little tight here, but you have two, two ways to get in. And there you go. You can enter the bathroom from the bedroom and you can also enter it from this landing area. Okay, now we're gonna transition into, this is now the third bedroom on the second floor. And again, with the kind of the color palette of the house, really neutral with nice pops of color. You have this really pretty kind of a pale white eggshell kind of a color. And then you have sage green accents and teal throughout the whole space. I love the high ceilings. I love that they make all of their bedrooms feel nice and peaceful and calm, but yet very spacious. And I think that's really, really important. Normally you see secondary bedrooms and sometimes they feel really, really tight, but not in this house. You have a lot of really great space. So comment below and let us know if you think your kids would absolutely love this space. And now we're gonna head back downstairs and check out the primary bedroom. But before we do that, we're gonna take a look at that backyard because you're sure to love that. Okay, so as we transition to the backyard, which I know you're gonna love, let's take a look at these beautiful slider doors. Complete window from floor to almost ceiling. You have more windows at the top, picture windows. And it's absolutely beautiful, lets in so much natural light. Let's take a look outside. Okay, so can you hear the birds chirping? Back here is absolute heaven. You're gonna love it in this backyard. So first off, right behind me, check out this incredible pool. Can you picture yourself spending all of your summers? And of course, we're in Texas, so it's still pool weather even in October. You're gonna love that. So you have that going on here, this amazing water feature, and you can hear that just the sound of relaxation. They did an amazing job with this covered patio and you have the option to extend it even further out so that you can include a covered dining area in your backyard as well. It's really spectacular. You definitely want to come out and check out this area. And by the way, just to let you know, there are 18 home sites available in this neighborhood and there are currently two homes that are spec homes, which means that they're completely ready to go, moving ready, waiting for you. So let us know if you're interested in taking a look at those homes. And as we transition back to the home, let's check out my favorite room in the house, the primary bedroom. So as we transition from the outside to the inside, one thing I wanna mention about this builder is that they spend over $25,000 on each home with energy efficient features as well as additional insulation. So that is something that definitely will make a difference in the livability and the comfortability of you when you're at home. Okay, now in this space, this is the primary bedroom which is spectacular. And one of the things is, again, vaulted ceilings with amazing light fixtures. You'll see some really, really great accents in this space. Let me point out the back wall here, kind of the headboard area. This is a great area to accent, and there's a lot of different things you can do. They chose to do this cool wallpaper with these gold accents in it. So that's really awesome. Here you have a king size bed and plenty of space for all the furniture that you want to include. And this is also something to point out that um, the window seat, this is a really popular hit that is very much requested with this builder are the window seats. 
they can be added in various areas of the home as well. So that's a really, really cool place to sit in the morning, sit down, put your shoes on, or just kind of sit there with a cup of coffee. So let's come right on over into the primary bathroom, which again, just you're gonna wanna spend some relaxing time in here with this deep soaker tub and a few really high-end beautiful features that they have in this space. You have your floating cabinets here with extra large counter space right here. Of course, I'm gonna say this is the hers because you have extra space and you have a makeup application area. And you have these really cool inset lights underneath, under the cabinets, um, which is really, really cool. And also let me point out this cool geo geometric kind of a pattern. We saw it earlier in one of the other bathrooms, but that is definitely something that they accented throughout the whole space. They did it also in the shower, uh, the shower wall and also on the shower floor. And check out these super cool blingy lights right here in the mirror area. It's just a really nice fun accent piece in the space. Um, they did a really great job with that. And you'll notice that the tile floors continue all the way into the primary closet. And you'll see some really great shelving space for your shoes, for your purse collection. You'll also notice with the flooring, a lot of times you see carpet in the primary closet. So this is actually really easy, easy to maintain and great to have when you're rolling luggage in and out. So let's head back towards the primary bedroom. And I wanna point out one more thing this door that you have here, this is an optional feature that you can add. I think it's pretty awesome because it leads you directly into the backyard, the covered patio and the pool area. So that's a nice little touch as well. So let's head, to, let's head back to the front of the house so we can wrap up this tour. So I hope you enjoyed this tour and love this home just as much as I do. And if you're moving in nine days or 90 days, be sure to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. You can also schedule a Zoom with us. And all of the information is located in the description box below. We hope that you enjoyed the tour and we hope to see you soon and show you around town.